Okay, thank you ladies and gentlemen for um, coming back and taking a look at the next video. I'm going to definitely try to make it very, very short and sweet. You know, the last video was long, but I like to try to be very, very detailed. Um, I'm a natural artist by, um, by, by natural talent. So everything is about being detailed um, for me. So, okay. Here, we already shown beforehand of your account number here. So this is going to be the same account number that you're going to place on your LPOA. This is going to be the same account number that you place on your LPOA. Okay. Which you're going to receive the LPOA as soon as you go ahead and you fund your account. Um, some individuals like to send the LPOA over ahead of time. Uh, we don't, you know, um, we do filter our customers and, um, and our students and, um, not everyone makes the cut. You know, we could potentially not allow for you to get on board with us, depending on your, you know, uh, just depending on what, what, uh, what, what we decide. So, but here, this is your account number and you're going to utilize this for everything is going to be a reference for what uh for, for your account so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to fund your account because once you fund your account then we're going to send over the lpoa for some of you if we already work with you or either we already done some type of the business with you then of course we don't mind sending the lpoa over to you then but but we're not gonna uh send over ahead of time and just to let you know um we're going to, uh, how can I say, for some of you, it's, it, it can range. Performance fees could be anywhere between 40 to 50%. It depends on how we onboard you. It depends on how much money you deposit. Uh, it depends on how many different um, softwares that you get involved with us with. So, uh, like I said, we I think we have the most amount of softwares collectively. And we have the most amount of developers that we're in collaboration with, along with brokers. So we're going to show you the, the, the we're going to definitely show you the monthly profits. And we're going to also uh, give you a whole lot of insight on um, different uh, trading education. So let's go to, uh, let's go to fund that account. Okay. Right here. Okay, so as you can see, you're going to see the minimum deposit is $100 here, but our minimum is 400 And honestly, I recommend 1000 It's really worth 1000 You'd be surprised how much it compounds at 1000 And anyone that, that's interested in potentially making <coughs> more than the 5 to 10% minimum that we, uh, that we, that we offer, because it can actually go up even higher than that. But we also have other software that can um, maximize even more than that. However, we we do try to onboard individuals through FX Winning first, and then we diversify you with with other programs as well. Um, but just email us here, and um, just let me know what you're trying to do. What's your budget? Show us that you're serious. You're gonna go through our screening process, which is normally done within 24 to 48 hours. And um, we, if you're talking good and serious, we're definitely going to accept you. So here, okay, here's your account number. As you can see, that's showing up again. Um, the minimum here says $100 deposit, um, but we're going to, we're going to, uh, it's mandatory for you to do at least $400 minimum deposit. I recommend at least doing a $1,000 deposit. Uh, initially, once you get the program going and you like it for a week, two weeks, and then I would say at least increase it up to about eleven thousand dollars. That way you can cover any upfront or back end fees because you will have options. Okay, so here is um, Tether, Bitcoin. Uh, Tether ERC twenty is pretty good. It has low um, gas fees when you're dealing with that. But I, I I tell everyone to utilize Bitcoin simply because Bitcoin. It's going to be the easiest for you to um, to transact um, if you don't have the cash app. Cash app is the easiest for you to go and get. Um, I tell everyone to go and get cash app. Um, you can 
uh, instantly it comes from your bank account you can add funds buy bitcoin and it has very very low transaction fees i mean more than any other platform that i have ever seen so and i could be wrong on that i'm not gonna say i'm a hundred percent on everything i wouldn't dare but for me that's what it is okay so let's just say you do a hundred matter of fact let's just say you do a thousand just to give you a little bar to you know to go by click deposit funds okay i'm sorry the so just no no periods no decimals and click deposit funds and let it load let it load voila it's going to give you an address code gives you the address code you're going to use utilize this address code to transact from say like your cash app or whatever system you're using more than likely if you at this day and age if you're here with us and you're into high frequency trading or you're into um software that does auto trading for you and mam accounts and everything then more than likely you already know how to transfer but if you don't know how to transfer from your bitcoin wallet to your um in, in, into your trading account then um just email us like i say we're here for you we respond normally within 48 to 24 hours or less. It could be an hour. It could be 30 minutes, depending on what we're doing. We do have a high volume of requests for our software and our education right now. But this is how you, you do it. You just copy and paste that. It's best to do, um, it's best to have your, uh, I mean, I guess you could type it in, but if, if you can't, I, I wouldn't suggest typing it in because you can easily send it to the wrong, um you can send it to the wrong wallet and i know I, I i have typed it in before but as you can see it's long so i would suggest opening up another app um if you do it from your desktop basically whatever you do it from you, whatever you wherever you set up your account at whether you do if you do it on your phone then you know you could just copy and paste if you do it on your computer but you want to utilize, say, like your cash app on your phone, I would suggest copying this, sending it to an email that's already on your phone, copy that, and then place it uh, in your, your cash app to send the, to send the money out to. Because the last thing I want to do is have, you know, dozens of people saying that they lost their money because they sent it to the wrong Bitcoin wallet. So I am, that that is a disclaimer. Hopefully you watched this video 100% thoroughly because if it comes up I am going to tell you to go back to this video and you should see that I already notified you that look you don't want to type it in you can type it in but you don't want to type it in so try to send it to an email send it to a voice over IP like Google Voice something that is attached to your phone so you can just copy and paste it if you're sending from your phone now, a lot of people I know that utilize crypto utilize their phone so okay so and as you can see the time is running out so you have to trans transfer this within this time frame meaning you need to do it you need to do it ASAP as soon as you're ready to go ahead and you know make this happen you need to do it ASAP so therefore you you really want to already have your money in Bitcoin before you even get to this part because if you don't have your money in Bitcoin already everyone knows sometimes it can transact fast sometimes it can transact slow it's one of those variables that is one of those uncontrollables so you you don't wanna you wanna already have it in Bitcoin before you even get to this stage right here um, or even uh, yeah I would say before you get to this stage right here, you wanna have it in Bitcoin so if you don't have it in there, it's no problem. You can just easily, let's see, let's go back. I know somebody is going to do something. The baby is going to be crying. It's, you're not going to be able to go back. So let's go back. Okay. Now, you, you put in the amount that you want to put in there. Okay. You have your email address so you can receive notifications. You make sure that your account number is the correct account number. 
just in case you created another account somehow and you just uh, somebody else created one on your computer you want to make sure you want to verify everything okay you click deposit funds you choose which one you want to use click deposit funds and voila it's sending you a code you send that code to yourself Either you log on your platform on your desktop and then you transact the Bitcoin. Give it a very short period of time, normally less than one hour. I have heard of some situations up to two hours, but more than likely less than one hour. Your Bitcoin will be in your wallet and voila, you're ready to go. Give us notifications as soon as you do this. Then we can send you the LPOA if we haven't already sent you the LPOA. And that's it. Email us if you have any questions at all. I try to explain this as slowly and thoroughly as possible. And but that that should be uh, it for um for at least lowering your account. Matter of fact, since we're on the same, let's do two and one. Let's go back. FS is pretty good about allowing you to go back without logging you out. So you know that that that's something for you to just know. Uh, you can go here. You go to upload documents. Okay, it's going to take you here. This is where you're going to upload. Okay. We, we uh, like I said, we're going to send you the LPOA once you show proof or let us know that you have already uploaded. If um, up, uploaded, I mean, not uploaded, but um, added money to your, to your broker account. Then that way we know you're serious. So it doesn't waste you know everyone's time okay so here you're gonna browse what you wanna what you wanna choose let me see well not not browse what you wanna choose let me go back because you might not utilize passport so you go here you click here you can choose passport you can choose national ID um, so you wanna more than likely choose national ID even though I'm going through everything thoroughly with you I wanna tell you what I recommend so I recommend doing national ID because that's the easiest. Just a okay and browse what you want. I'm gonna choose the bucket truck. I'm trying to rent it out right now. Five thousand a month. But here you go. Okay, and then you just upload. You just make sure you make sure it confirm. Always confirm. Confirm that the picture is um, correct for the front of your ID and then you want to upload the front of your ID okay gosh I shouldn't even upload it but <laughs> yeah but okay then you go here you want to do ID again then you want to browse and you want to upload I'm already there now right so you upload the back of the ID. Click upload. Okay. Then you want to go to any one of these credit card statement, bank statement, water bill, phone bill, anything that has your address on there that matches closest matches the address that you created the account with is really what you want i chose bank statement i always tell everyone to choose bank statement it's one of the easiest just to get our credit card statement either one of them choose bank statement browse upload and then you have to upload one more document which is the LPOA. That's what we recommend that you fund your account as soon as possible with the first video teaching you how to set everything up with FX Winning um, dot, dot Pro. So yes, uh, that that's it. As simple as that. Once you have uh, all your, your your funds uploaded, we send you the LPO, LPOA via email, and then you can also upload the LPOA. Oh, yeah. Browns. Oh, no. 
other documents. Upload your LPOA on other documents. Browse. Repeat a new.